Aloha, y'all. Welcome back to Pete's Treasures. Today, I'm going to show you what Matthew and I got for Christmas. We're going to do a little Christmas haul. Hope you enjoy seeing these fun items. And some of these are actually kind of practical. If you have a reselling business, you might have these items already. Let me know in the comments. But if you enjoy this content, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Our goal is to make it to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And we have just over 100 left. So hope you had a Merry Christmas and let's get into the haul. All right, everybody, let's do a haul of the Christmas gifts that me and my husband Matthew got this year. Super blessed and thank you to everybody who gave us these wonderful gifts. Let's start with these. Do y'all know what these are? They are the greatest invention I've seen in a while. So simple, but it is a hot pad for your bowl when you get it out of the microwave. Aren't those neat? My mom got everybody some, and I just think they're so neat and they will be used. She also got me some split pea with ham and bacon soup. Y'all, I couldn't find this anywhere, literally, online. I, I don't know if they stopped making it or not, but it's been a childhood favorite of mine, and I was just craving it, and so my mom got it for me. I think she went to several stores before she found it at Tom Thumb. Who else enjoys getting simple gifts like soup for Christmas? I know I do. Does that mean I'm an adult? Anyways, I got a Cheesecake Factory gift card. Haven't been there in a long time. Gonna go with Matthew and an Amazon gift card. And my brother got me these Tiki items. This is from the Shag store in Vegas at the Palms. Look at this enamel necklace. I love it so much. Love me some Shag. I believe Matthew got the blue one and I got this one. Pretty little coral color. Ah, I just love it. And here is a little enamel pen from Three Dots and a Dash. I still need to display all of my pens. So yeah, Three Dots and a Dash is a very popular tiki bar in Chicago. And I got these cute stickers. Oh my gosh. Kawaii. Nyan Nyan Nyanko. So cute. I believe these are from Daiso maybe. I don't know. But they're so cute. Yep, they are. There's the Daiso mark. Here is a banana spider. <laughs> no, it's a banana crab. Why did I say spider? I, I guess it took me a while to see the eyes. I don't remember where this is from, but I love it. Andrew, you'll have to remind me where you got that. My brother and sister-in-law, my sissy, they went to Uga's Tavern at Disney World and I got this Rancor coaster. Love Tiki Ephemera, super cute. And this little Tiki Club Florida coaster, three dots and a dash. Man, I really need to find a way to display this stuff, but for now it just goes into the collection. And there is a little napkin. <laughs> Some men's trash is another man's treasure. And my brother got me this honey butter chicken biscuit from Whataburger, little Fiesta medal. In San Antonio, they have a parade every year. I believe it's called the Battle of Flowers, no. I don't know. It's called Everyone Collects These Fiesta Medals. So that's what this is. And I only have an Ikea one. So that is amazing. I got Matthew some reseller tools. These, this is a zip snip and he's already used it twice and he loves it so much. It's about $50. You can find it on Amazon. Um, they're basically heavy duty electric scissors. Maybe he'll use them one day in a video I'm not sure but this is another reselling tool I got Matthew it is a box resizer I could find it on I found it on Amazon and yeah let's see the brand is from Omni factory in case you're interested not too expensive it's about 20 bucks and he needs to experiment with that but I hear it's great now this was something I got for free on TikTok. there is someone named Jesse J-E-S-S-E Stewart sound and he made a CD for the very avant-garde instrument called the water phone. So he said due to his new subscribers, he was going to send out some free CDs. So this is very obscure, but very cool. And there's his name. <laughs> very interesting instrument if you haven't ever heard of a water phone. They use it in horror movies and things. So thank you, Jesse. So here is something that Andrew got me. 
<laughs> I just talked about how I'm an adult for getting soup. I got this little Play-Doh kitchen creations. How cute is that? I mean, maybe I'll have to make it for a video. Let me know if you'd like to see that. <laughs> but anyways, here's another thing that I've been wanting for a long time, a Kit Kat clock. And it has rolling eyes and a wagging tail. Y'all all know what these are. But this is a limit. Oh, this is the limited edition version. And it's kind of Matthew and I's favorite color. It's turquoise. So I'll have to show that once it's hung. So cute. Thank you, Matthew. And this is something, I don't really watch Shark Tank, but I was looking for like stocking stuffers to get Matthew. These are heavy duty handles with a little gel grip that you put grocery bags in them, or you know, the straps, and then you can carry like eight bags at once in both hands to make your trips more comfortable for people who don't like to take many trips to the car. Anyways, it's called the Click and Carry, and I thought they were neat. He hasn't used it yet though. This is from Andrew. I forget what it is, but Matthew was super excited and the eyes blink. I think it's a Madame Alexander, like, I don't know, McDonald's thing? Who knows? Anyways, he also got me these little Shopkins doubles. Y'all have seen me unbox things before, like the mini brands. But this is a little TGI Friday's dumpling. How cute. I don't have very many of these. I told them I wanted these little curly fries. So adorable, look at the detail. Now I want curly fries. I got a little thimble, ooh, that I hope I didn't break. <laughs> it is Heinz Sweet Pickles. Isn't that cute? I think he's shown it in a video. If you don't follow him, his handle is Knickknack Twin. And a little Subway Coke. This was from one of those secret, not secret Santa, but those white elephant games at work. And I ended up with a tomato holder. I don't eat tomatoes though, so. But I think that's pretty cute. Maybe I can put something else in it. Now, Matthew got me these Funko Chicken Nuggets. We got the Scuba McNugget. We got the Tennis McNugget. Fireman McNugget. Rockstar McNugget. And Cowboy. Isn't that cute? And it's an exclusive. I mean, don't they all say exclusive or limited edition? But I just think they're adorable. Just gotta find place for it now. <laughs> and this came with it. It's a limited edition Sully with Boo. Super cute. Oh, look, she's coming out of the little Chinese takeout container. That's one of my favorite Disney movies. And speaking of, look at this Monsters Inc. tree that I got. Isn't that cute? From the Disney store. Yes. So let's move in right along. One more Funko. This is an exclusive Toto in the basket and we actually got this to arbitrage. I think it's really cool though. So I'm really down to keep it. Perhaps can go for some money later and it benefited the ASPCA. So we love that. Now this is random. Matthew's favorite drink is Yerba Mate tea. I got him this Yerba Mate extract. Um, it's an herbal supplement, but I just thought that was interesting because he likes Aromate tea. Now this is pom pom porin. It's a macaron lip balm. So cute. And Matthew got me that. We actually just sold a plush for that cute guy. And I believe he's Sanrio. Yep. There he is. This is actually from Barry. Frothy the beer man. Super cute. And it smells good. And look at that. Frothy the beer man was always full of cheer with two ice cold mugs and a big old keg he preferred to share his beer <laughs> anyways okay oh moving right along we did advent calendars this year as we tend to do and i got matthew a bon mamon what do you call it little fruit spreads this one's grapefruit dragon fruit and they had 24 different jams and jellies and i think they're so cute like this one is chestnut orange christmas spice yum and he's already opened them so i thought that was a cool advent thing to do and next to our little blues clues family i did two years ago the nightmare before christmas was this was like a 
little, not holographic, a little bright, colorful, fluorescent version, and I think they might glow in the dark. I think they're super cute, so that was my advent calendar. Um, actually, that was our calendar we did together. Isn't this a cute tiki mug? This is from Latitude 29, and Andrew and I got a good deal. It's from the bar in New Orleans from Beach Bum Berry. So yes, I love this mug from Brad Parker. But the reason why I show this is because this is what I put all of these in. And we're gonna do a very, very, very quick haul. Ready, set, go. This was our mini brands calendar, advent calendar. I got a little hot tamale. Look at this little baby bell cheese. <laughs> Look at this little apple pie spice. That's one of my favorites. We got a golden icy. Love the graphics for that. Got a little Hershey Special Dark. It's not real, it just looks real. Ranch, y'all don't hate me, but I don't like ranch. But it's cute, Philadelphia Cream Cheese. Teeny tiny, and they just feel so real. Little Cool Whip. Matthew loves his Cool Whip, so do I. Yellow Mustard, gosh, that looks real. Little Hershey Syrup. What's that? Oh my gosh, it's Turtle Wax Ice Seal and Shine. The detail, the detail. We got some wieners, a little pack of hot dogs. That must be one of my favorites, that's super cute. We, oh, we got a golden Hershey. I didn't realize I had two Hershey's. I guess one was golden, one was not. We had a little Mega Mix, Mike and Ike. I was never a big fan of Mike and Ike. This is so cute, it's one of those little Kool-Aid bursts. And a little lipstick, I think from Revlon. <laughs> it doesn't work, don't worry. Why would you worry about that? You can cut that out, Matthew. Got a Golden Pringles. Icebreaker Sours. Y'all, these are so good. Do I remember the Altoid Sours? I miss those. Blue Diamond Roasted Salted Almonds. A little Mentos. We got little Holy Guacamole. Ugh. I mean, that looks so cute. Tapatillo. And last but not, oh no, we have two more. We have a little OxyClean moment right there and the best oh i thought this was ice cream i thought it was tillamook ice cream doze and company collagen creamer interesting so that was my advent calendar and that was super fun let's get back to all the rest of the gifts my brother barry gave these to matthew pineapple fruit dip you mix it with cool whip or something and white chocolate raspberry fruit dip. And it's from one of the Renaissance fairs that they go to all the time. This is a 23andMe kit, so Matthew and I can both trace our heritage and do some health assessments. And yeah, we're jumping on that bandwagon. We've already DNA tested all of our dogs. Um, so I'm interested to find out a little bit more about me. <laughs> this, I just got a 7-Eleven. I just wanted y'all to know that Dunkaroos are back at least a 7-Eleven, but I think they've been coming back and forth, but so nostalgic and cute. Now, here's a few tiki items. This I was so happy to get from Andrew from the Shameful Tiki Room. He actually went there. I love how it has the look of a vintage tiki menu. This is one of my favorite ones I have, idea-wise at least. Super cute. And he got me some really cool swizzles. This is from the Shameful Tiki Room. Love it. Very standard. And this one is one of the most heavy duty ones I've ever seen from Strong Water. It says get wrecked. Okay, this I got from eBay for like eight bucks. And Matthew, we were talking about stockings when we were doing our stockings. And Matthew was talking about how he had this one. I believe it's from Hallmark. So I surprised him and got it for him <laughs> because we love eBay, of course. Now this is a Tiki lighter from the brand Polyart, made by Polyart. And my mom thrifted it and it looks vintage to me and I just think it's so cool. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but that's gonna be to be displayed. Uh, here is a pearl diver glass and it is made out of glass. A lot of times they're made out of acrylic lately, but I've been wanting one from a long time. It's a classic tiki vessel and Andrew has found them at the thrift store before, but I have never. They're kind of rare to find at the thrift store because people just don't buy these. So yeah, thank you, Andrew. I finally have a pearl diver glass. Now he loves to get vintage like 
uh, you know, plastic cups from our childhood, and he shared one for me. Tia's was in Louisville, Texas. I don't know if it was anywhere else. Tia's Tex-Mex, but I think that's super cute. He, he likes to buy old soda cans, and I like them. Look at this, Fanta Raisin, but I love the graphics. That's actually the foreign side. I believe this is uh, French. I think I want to display it as the raisin. <laughs> um, anyways, this is Five Alive. Take five, five alive. And we used to drink it all the time with our grandma, and so I love this can. So, thank you, Andrew. That's the one I'm most excited about. We got a vintage Sprite can. I don't see a date. And a vintage Coke can with the original taste. Yay! This is a Madame Leota, Madame Leota from Disney. I just got it for Matthew. Pearls are very in right now, and I just thought he would look cute in it. And this is from Andrew. It is a vintage novelty eyelash. Look at this. Don't you love that little mug? And it's one big eyelash that you can cut into strips, I guess, to decorate your favorite toys. And it looks like he got it at Thrift Town. I won't tell. Wait. I'm saying I won't tell, but I'm literally showing it on YouTube. But we love a good thrift store find. That's crazy that that made it to a thrift store after all of these years. This is something I bought myself. I know it's so silly. I have, we have three dogs. Her name is Clamantha, like Samantha, but she's a cute little clam. Look at that, and she has a little pearl, which is a ball. I'm sorry, but we collect interesting plush, and to me, that is just the cutest thing ever. In a second, I'll show you two other things I got from BarkBox. Here are the other two BarkBox items. Look at these pineapples, and they're made of really hard, hard, hard plastic or something like that. And Benjamin already loves to walk around with them. And look at this, it's a turkey chicken nugget or a turkey nug. I thought those were so cute and kitschy and I had to get them. This is a Tiki Bob candy cane ornament made out of glass from Tiki Farm. I'll show you it on the tree in just a second. I love it, it was kind of pricey. It was like $20, but you know what? I don't have many quality tiki ornaments. Now this is such a cool tiki mug that Matthew got me. It is the creature from the Black Lagoon. Ooh, look at the detail from Strong Water Anaheim. Oh, just like the uh, swizzle. That's what it came with. It's the first edition Tales from the Black Lagoon by Alex Woody. Just so, so cool. And look, even the lid is just so detailed. It has to be one of my favorites, so thank you, Matthew. And my brother also got me this when he was in Disney World. It is the Disney Parks uh, little, it's a plastic tumbler. So I think that's super cute. I actually might drink out of that one day. And my mom got me a Bacardi Tiki. I've never seen this one at the thrift store and I, I kind of like the color. It's a good mug to serve guests in, you know? It's not worth much, but hey, not everything has to be worth a lot of money. This is my absolute favorite gift. Matthew hired an artist on Etsy to recreate our boys. There's Benjamin, Henry, and Pete. I love it so much and we're probably gonna use the artwork for other things but he framed it very nicely and I just love it so much. Next, I was super shocked to see that he got me this huge, I forget how long he said it is, that's what she said, uh, <laughs> Whitco sword. Now Matthew got it at an estate sale and he said it was in some rough shape and my friend Jason has this sword, but he said he doesn't have this hanger, so I wonder if this hanger is a little bit more on the rare side but anyways they can go for about 400 online and obviously he got it for me to enjoy it but maybe one day we will sell but anyways it was in rough shape and Matthew used this feed and wax with beeswax and orange oil and it it worked really really well now I didn't see the before and after just the after but I love it so thank you Matthew my mom got Matthew his favorite glass cleaner, which we use for Pete's treasures and lots of other things. Spray away. Have y'all ever smelled this stuff? It smells amazing. I am a spray away believer now. I used to be all about Windex, but he's got me hooked. <laughs> Not like I'm sniffing it or anything, but I like it. It's a great cleaner. Wow, see, I'm such an adult talking about glass cleaner. 
let's look at this. <laughs> uh, Matthew's best friend Chris got this for him. And I remember seeing it one day and saying, it reminded me of Matthew, just the face, not the body. Just kidding. <laughs> no, but I think it's so cool. We kind of have a merman theme, you know, tropical tiki vibes, tiki adjacent. But there he is in his little swing, and I love it. It's an ornament, but it's such a big ornament. It's more of a display piece. And this, y'all, is the best peanut brittle ever. Have you ever had C's candy? Crunchy, nutty goodness. So, so good. This is a really cool tiki artwork that my mom found. Actually, I don't know if it's tiki. And it's handmade by an artist. But it gives me that vibe. Very primitive, very Easter Island head. And it's made by, I saw a name on here somewhere. There we go. <laughs> Roman Gomez, so I think your artwork is really cool, Roman Gomez, made in 04. How cool to find that at a thrift store. It has just such a cool look. Matthew got me some new wireless earbuds, which I don't really have any wireless earbuds um, that are like this, so I'm super happy to start trying those out. Thank you so much. And look at this cute little ornament shot glass that my brother got me. So cute, maybe we'll have to use it for our teeny tiny cheeky series. My mom got me some Aldi candles. Y'all, have y'all ever tried Aldi candles? They are very similar to Bath and Body, I, but they are like one third of the price. These are usually between four and five bucks, sometimes six. They work so well and I love them. And this is my all time favorite scent, First Snow. It smells like peppermint and I don't know, just Christmas, I love it. Can't go wrong with candles. Here are some rechargeable LED headlamps for Matthew. I wanted to get him some cool gadgets that I thought he would use. And I like the fact that it's rechargeable instead of like wasting batteries all the time. And he actually uses his headlamp a lot. Got Matthew some scratchers for his stocking. And uh, this was given to Matthew. It is Tokyo Disneyland because Matthew worked for Tokyo Disney Sea. And it's such a cute little mug. And my mom got him this Disney mug. She said we could sell it, so we might. We're not huge Winnie the Pooh fans, but she likes to find us cool items that might sell on eBay. So thank you, mom, as always. Now here are just a few clothing items. Uh, so clothing is just not something I buy myself. So Matthew does a great job at picking me some new clothes. This is from Rihanna's brand, Savage Fenty. And I love it so much. Very comfortable hoodie. And look, it's crisp. Isn't that a cute t-shirt? Love retro brands. And I did a series with these recently. It was our first one actually for scrolling through. So if you haven't seen that, maybe we'll put in the description. This is Freaky's Cereal. And I think it's such a cute shirt. And I can't believe someone made that, you know? Such a niche item. Do y'all remember Freaky Cereal? Now, this is something from my mom. She found it at a thrift store. What's cracking? It's this little embroidered loop hoop. Is that what you call it? An embroidery hoop? Anyways, we're going to hang that up somewhere. I think it's so cool. And my grandmother used to do that. So that's what makes me like it even more. Now, this is a tiki puzzle from Derek. And I think it's so cute. Andrew got it for me. He found them at a thrift store and I can't believe it. I love the artwork, so yay. Thank you, Andrew. Speaking of puzzles, Matthew got me this spam puzzle. Wait a minute. No, these are socks. <laughs> I'm thinking of my brother Andrew has a spam puzzle, but these are some spam socks. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get it out. Oh, here they are. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. I haven't touched this since Christmas. So I forgot what they looked like. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And speaking of spam, man, y'all must think I'm obsessed with spam. I think it's kitschy and it's very good. Now we have shown pumpkin spice spam before and I had to buy that off eBay. So I jumped on the bandwagon early and I got a two pack of this limited edition figgy pudding spam. And our friends at the Velveteen Lounge Kitchen already tried it. Supposedly it's pretty good. Um, it has like 
flavors of clove and you know it's actually not supposed to be bad it's supposed to taste like a glazed ham and yeah i'm gonna basically these are two packs i'm gonna have one to keep one to to try and perhaps try to arbitrage these later i know that's crazy but i like doing stuff like that my brother got this for me. I don't know where he found it, but my grandma used to wear vanilla fields and it's, it still smells like her and I just like it. We like old perfume bottles and things like that. Very nostalgic. So we are wrapping this up. I got a cool, <laughs> I got a few cool books. This is Star Wars, a life day cookbook. Love Star Wars. I believe this was from Barry, my brother. And I just love it. I have a Skyrim one that goes with a video game I play called Skyrim. But now I have a Star Wars one and it has really interesting uh, snacks. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'll make anything, but it's really fun to look at. And who knows, maybe in the future I'll start using my cookbooks. Very good coffee table book and conversation starter. Just like this one, I got this from Matthew, it's so silly. We follow this TikTok guy named The Greedy Peasant, and he talks about tassels, and he talked about this book called Tassels, The Fanciful Embellishment. And it's a book all about tassels. Very Matthew, very niche, gave that to him. And my mom got this for me. Her and my brother love America's Test Kitchen. Let me know in the comments if y'all have ever made recipes from them. But since it's just me and Matthew, well, and the dogs, uh, it's cooking for two and you know I need to diversify some recipes that we make and I will totally take a look at this so thank you for that that is such a long haul if you stay till the very end thank you so much I haven't made a video like this in a while we have plenty of content uh, coming up in 2023 happy new year everybody Hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. We would love to end the year with a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. Keep digging for treasure. Because you won't find it if you don't look. Bye, everybody.